uh, taking a look at all the problems that have been experienced due to uh, the halting of flights into Europe, it's said that already 1.8 billion shillings have been lost over the last five days. Could you give us exactly what is happening on the ground? Well, certainly the, 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 the closure of the European airspace is having uh, secondary effects on our local markets. Um, we saw Kenya Airways losing up to $1 million a day. The horticultural companies losing $3 million a day. And of course, this has, has other impacts on the, farm, on the farming, on horticultural crops. Mm. And uh, this is certainly hurting the economy. Of course, Kenya Airways is not exempt. We've seen Kenya Airways also coming under pressure. We're seeing its share price also losing ground over the last few sessions. And it's said that it's around $1 million a day that Kenya Airways is losing. Yes, certainly. Um, the aviation sector is, is, great, is bearing the hugest brunt of this closure of the European airspace. Kenya Airways has grounded flights but may soon resume flights to Amsterdam. But till that happens, the airline has to grapple with, um, with such costs and even the cost of uh, upkeep of cabin crew and passengers to some extent. Mm. Taking a look at uh, the overall equity markets, volumes came off quite significant yesterday. No surprise that we had uh, quite a big day uh, in terms of what we saw coming through on Friday. Bamburi Cement under the spotlight at this stage. Uh, give us an indication of what we can expect from Bamburi going forward, given the fact that it has been one of the highest traded shares over the last few sessions. Bamburi did surprise the market at the last closing trading session of last week with a block of 3 million shares being sold by a foreign investor. Now, going forward this week, um, there is unsatisfied demand, but supply is still there, which, and we may not expect the price to go down in the very short term because uh, supply, the, the owners of the supply are at higher match prices, so demand has to move up higher. Mm. And of course, the company had a very strong results. It, se it seems that cement industry is one of the most attractive industries right now. A PE of around 10.09 uh, times. So what is your view on Bamburi? Would you be accumulating it at these levels? Yes, that's what uh, the local funds have been doing. Um, although the company is, is uh, fourth largest by market cap, uh, the average trading volume is about $150,000 a day. And the local funds have been accumulating this stock. Um, because it's not been very available in the market. Mm. Uh, we're also hearing news, M-Pesa, of course, uh, reports that MTN and Standard Bank could be forced to pay around $136 million for that patent infringement. Uh, and, of course, it's going to be beneficial for M-Pesa and, of course, Safaricom would be benefiting as well. Safaricom has been coming under pressure, of course, ahead of its results next month. What do you make of this news? Well, the news have not been very clear and we've not gotten any indication from uh, company management what might mean this might mean in terms of uh, any sort of revenue gains. Uh, but uh, definitely M-Pesa remains a huge revenue earner, 51% projected growth over the next three years. And definitely any such gains will be beneficial to the uh, future revenues of this company. Gregory, just lastly and very quickly, looking at KCB, again, a company that came uh, under pressure once again today, uh, in yesterday's session rather, down 2.2% yesterday, currently sitting at 22 shillings. And we know that, of course, it is going to be embarking on a rights issue as well. Uh, looking relatively cheap is what some investors are saying. Is this your view as well? Yes. KCB, uh, it, over the past one week, there was demand but as soon as uh, the company announced its intention to raise close to 115 billion shillings through a rights issue, we saw the trend quickly reverse as the effect, the dilutive potential of the rights issue remains uncertain. So here the main thing that is affecting the share price is the news and the uncertainty of how, how much dilution there will be to the existing shareholder.